All right, guys, so we're just going to take a look at season eight, episode number five. And it's pretty much going to start off, you know, Tyrion's going to have a conversation with Varus, and he's pretty much going to go ahead and turn on him. So that's basically what's happening here is he's telling Danny that uh, Varus has turned on her. Easily could have been avoided. All, all Varys had to do is just go to her and say, hey, man, I don't think that everything's working out, but... It's too bad. But she kept her promise. So as you can see, we got the Drogon in the background there. And he's just going to go ahead and do his Turn thing. Which again, bad situation. Especially for Varys. It's not going to look good for everybody else in the realm there. Seeing what's going on. Even with one of her trusted advisors. And because of that, you know, she's just starting to see that uh, everything's not going to work out the way she wants. And it's going to have to be her, basically her way or the highway. So, John really didn't want to have any kind of relation with her at this point right here. So, that's why she said what she said there. Because she realizes it, that he's not going to look at her like he did prior to finding out that he was a Targaryen. So here we got Tyrion basically saying, hey, I'm going to set you free. Go save Jamie. Take her to the bottom of the dragon pit. There's some stairs. Get her down there to the dinghy. We'll get you out. We got Euron. He finally sees Rogan coming down. And Guys, this kind of doesn't make sense to me, you know. He was so... We had Rhaegal just so easily killed, but yet Rogan comes down here with a whole fleet of ships. And he basically destroys all of them, all, all of them. And doesn't even get hit by a single scorpion bolt. Which to me that, you know, I don't know. I don't know, maybe maybe it's just because of the fact that he wasn't, uh, they weren't looking for it the first time and they got hit. Maybe, maybe that's it, I don't know. Otherwise, you know, you could pretty much say that, you know, maybe they just rushed through this, you know, to get to the end. But, I don't know. But anyway, he goes ahead and basically destroys all the scorpions that are on the walls. So we're getting to the point where there's not going to be any scorpions, you know, left on any of the castle walls to try to stop the dragons from coming. So we've got the Golden Company outside the gates there. It's not looking too good for them either. Which again, she probably didn't even have, need to have an army to begin with. With all the damage that that one dragon has done, she probably didn't even need to have an army. But anyway... So they pretty much, you know, rushed the city at this point. So they're just getting in there and they start, you know, killing all the uh, soldiers. And pretty much wiping out the last of the Golden Company, which most of them got destroyed out in front. But there's their leader, just got took down right there. And the rest of them are just running in there. And you got the Dothraki and the Unsalad coming in there to wipe them all out. And again, we're just going back and seeing that pretty much all the Scorpions are... Pretty much getting wiped out by Drogon. He's doing a pretty good job of it too. Everybody's running around in fear. He goes ahead and he lands on the wall. And earlier, Tyrion had, you know, tried to get Danny's to go ahead and basically, you know, have mercy on the city, basically, if they was to ring the bell and surrender. So they end up doing that. They pretty much, you know, ring the bells. Hey, we're done. You know, you win. Whatever. We can't, you know, take out a dragon and the rest of you guys. I mean, you took out all our defenses and everything. But I think at this point, she's just mad. Extremely mad, you know, because of what happened to Masende there when she got beheaded. So she's not really in a forgiving mood here. So she kind of, you know, loses it, you know, when they're sitting there asking for, you know, Hey, we're surrendering. She's not feeling it. And she gets angered by it, it looks like. So she just goes ahead and says, Nah, I'm just going to go ahead and start burning everybody. Taking out, you know, basically the rest of the city. Wiping it out. Killing all the people in there. Women, children, it don't matter. She's just going to wipe them out, everybody. And she does. As you can see, she just comes along just starts 
scorching everything and everything. Doesn't matter. Don't matter at all. And of course, everybody, you know, is pretty much understanding, hey, she's kind of getting wacko. Yeah. Now we got Euron. Goes ahead and he's uh, fighting with Jamie. And he's pretty much mortally wounded at this point. He gets hit again in the side with another knife. But Jamie, you know, goes ahead and drives a sword through him and pretty much kills him too. So, all is good on that front. But yes, he does die. But uh, Jamie at least uh, be able to walk away from this where obviously Euron's not. But he does say that, you know, hey, at least I killed the Kingslayer. And we got the oh cool God, game bowl that everybody was waiting on. This is one of the things I like right here. He goes ahead and he kills Cobburn. Fantastic. He's dead. You know, at this point, he's not even listening to Cersei no more. She walked by him and got out of there. That dude is ugly, let me tell you. Just straight up ugly. But as he's fighting, you know, he starts to put his fingers into the eyes, just like he did with that dude from Dorn. But. He didn't get quite all of one of the eyes of uh, the hound there. And obviously he sees that even they put a, a knife in his dude's head, he ain't going to die. So he does the only thing he can do and just bum rushes him and pretty much uh, takes him out that way. And just kind of go through the wall there and fall to their death. So... I really did, didn't really, I pretty much didn't want to see that one die, but unfortunately he, he's not going to make it. So Jamie and Cersei, they're basically down in the basement there where the skulls of the dragons are at and they're hugging and everything's pretty much collapsing on them so they're going to get basically buried under the rubble. And that's pretty much how it's going to end for this uh, episode. So I guess we just have to wait to see what happens on the next episode uh, to find out what goes on. So until then, guys, everybody have a great night.